Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Minecraft 1.14 Let's Play. Hope everybody is having a great day today. I'm doing fantastic. Guys, it's going to be an awesome episode. Today is episode 13, though. I can't believe we're almost to 15 episodes already. It's moving by so fast, and I'm having such a fun time. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the question of the day. So my question for you is, you're given full developer control of Minecraft for one week. What are some of the changes that you make, remove, do to the game for yourself that you may want or may add or may want to remove? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really like to know what you guys think. If you enjoy this series and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications for when the videos come out. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So we start today's episode off right over by the village. We are actually going to be working on... Uh, a new redstone project today and that is going to be an automated collection uh tree farm i want to be able to grow trees and not have to worry about replanting in the world or destroying our landscape so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it to where we use a minecart hopper and some uh some redstone devices so i was thinking about how big i want this farm to be now typically you would make a biggest space as possible but if you could uh, uh, make it as efficient as possible, right? Then you would probably only want a very small space. Actually, I think I'm gonna come over a few more blocks here. So let's go over like right here. So I think what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> excuse me. I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna make this probably a six by six pad. Now, um, initially I had considered just using hoppers to collect this, but I think, I think in the long run, it's gonna be easier to do it like this. So there's six uh three four five six so right there will be uh, this is the area in which we will grow trees all right so now that we have the space dug out we are going to have our mine cart run uh this direction and it's just gonna go like that now ooh, my inventory is super full what can we get rid of let's get rid of some dirt here i'm gonna drop some cobblestone off back here get a little bit of space there so we'll have this, you know, just come that way. But we're not, I'm not worried about the cart path right now. That's easy stuff. We can do that later. What I want to set up is I want to set up the mechanism that's going to move the items. So we're going to set up a just dropper. And kind of depending on where we want to move this is where we'll have our output. So we'll probably maybe have an output chest right here somewhere. Um, okay, so what we'll do is we'll put a hopper going into that and... Um, let's see we will have another dropper we need to put a dropper above that and then one more and then we'll put a chest right here so um <laughs> my inventory is so full my god drop some of that and let me make a quick crafting table because i always forget a crafting table every single time ever so put that right there we'll just leave that here for now so we don't really need it let's make a chest there we go and put that up top here so this will be our wood collection point where everything is going to flow into so we just got to make a very very simple circuit for this and that's what we'll set up right now so for that circuit we're going to need some sticky pistons we're going i don't know if i'm gonna need droppers i'll keep them we're going to need an observer and a comparator um okay so we want to compare out of the bottom dropper just like that right uh, we're going to have that go into an observer. And so that observer is going to face the comparator. Um, and then underneath of this, we are going to put a sticky piston. There we go. So sticky piston right there. So when there's an item inside of there, it moves it, right? So the only thing we have left to do is to make it to where when this is elevated, it'll put stuff into the next dropper. So if I, I don't know if I'm gonna place this right or not, that is not right, it needs to be placed the other way. Let's put a block on top of here. Try to get that in there. Break you, and then place that right there. Awesome. So now, when we have, say, four or five items in there, it clicks through those super, super fast, all the way up into the chest, if you look into the dropper. So our mechanism for putting everything into the carts or from the carts to the hopper will be uh, easy. So let's go here, put those there. And you'll notice that it clicks really fast too. So we have a super fast circuit now that's going to help us with that. 
so the only thing left to do is to run the uh the carts and so that's pretty simple stuff just like that so we'll have a space there so the one thing that we will need to do is we will need to set up a lever somewhere that will uh allow us to power this without bothering anything else here which is very simple to do we'll just run that easily um get rid of that so let me go ahead and work on this just a little bit more and when i come back we'll kind of do some more designing all right guys so we've got just a little bit left to do to finish this first and foremost we need to get a lever in i um i put stairs around the inside and i kind of did some stone brick work we'll probably keep it like that for now but eventually i want to make a better design so we're gonna put the lever right um where should i put the lever where should I put the lever? I can probably put it right there. Turn it on. Let's go down a little bit here. See if we can get in here without disrupting everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, the, the I think the problem is gonna be that uh, because that lever is sitting right there, yeah, we're gonna have to move that. So um, probably just put it over here. That should be no problem. All right, so down we go. Get my shovel. I'm trying to avoid using my shovel here because I blast through the dirt just so fast. Okay. So redstone. Just like this. And we got to go down right here. I should probably eventually switch this all to redstone, but. So we want to power that block right there. Um. I suppose the easiest way to do that would be to just go to our chests over here and grab that and grab our hopper minecart. Um, so we'll probably just put a block here and then put another block here, put a block there. So that'll power that no problem. So that, uh, that redstone is now turned on. But let's also make sure that our droppers are good to go. Perfect. Okay, that's all taken care of. That's powered. We should be able to flick the lever anytime we need to turn that on and off. Okay, that's all good to go. Um, final thing. Let's go ahead and put this here. Put this here. Put that right there. So now that's going to collect anytime. Um, and then we just need to cover this all up. And you know what the funny thing is? Is I think the one thing that I forgot was a sapling. <laughs> there we go fill this back in so i have i brought some bones with me right here break that down all right let's uh let's grab a sapling or two real fast all right guys so it is time for our first test but first i want to sleep my computer <laughs> i spent <laughs> i was wondering my computer was messing up and i accidentally got an ice cube in the keyboard yeah, I was kind of freaking out as the wondering why my my stuff was all messed up, but I figured it out. We're good to go. So let's grow some trees. There we go. Chop these suckers down. And that should start being collected. Yeah, that's no problem. Look at that go. Awesome. And then we can let all the wood fall. Just like so. And once that's all collected, the leaves will start decaying. And everything will be picked up in due time. Perfect timing. Look at that thing go, although I see. So once there's more items filtering through, it'll get all the wood to the top. All right, fantastic. Well, we have a viable tree farm now. All right, guys, I decided to cut the last clip because my keyboard broke mid game. I'm sitting here and my keyboard just starts freaking out. And so I went to the store, got a new keyboard. It's like 4.30 in the morning, but we're all good to go. So um, what I am doing now is I am setting up a trap system for the golems. We have upwards of like, oh man, I wanna say there's probably like, probably like 70 villagers up there. And so <clears throat> we have been getting a lot of golems. I had to kill them all with lava just to get in here. And so what I'm gonna do now is we're going to set up a system that will kill them automatically. So we'll put all the water in the corner, just like so. There we go. All right, so they'll fall down. Let's open these up real fast. So they'll fall down in here. Let's uh, build these walls up really quickly. Uh, if my 
placement uh, or movement is a little weird it's because new keyboard i so i went to walmart right and i'm looking around and i'm starting to get nervous because all i'm seeing are like these imac keyboards and stuff and i'm like man i really really remember walmart having corsair and like razor like i don't really like prefer razor but i would have bought it if it was a mechanical that's all i was really looking for turns out it was in another section they had like a like a corsair strafe uh like a black widow and all kinds of like fancy fancy keyboards sorry i'm adjusting my volume real fast so got myself a nice key uh corsair one that was the one that i had before uh i think i had the corsair r70 or it's like the r75 or 65 or i forget what it's called but uh now that i have got that a new keyboard i've got the corsair strafe um I'm excited because I can record again. So I'm thinking um, when the golems land, they're three blocks tall. So we may want to have our fences here. There we go. Lava on top, and then we'll put our hoppers down below. There we go. So um, what I should probably do is dig out an area upwards of, or north of this, I think something like that right there um so we'll have our hoppers right here and let's put a double chest in right there then fill the hoppers in oops fix that yeah there we go i will say that keyboards are not cheap these days i had to pay 145 for this keyboard now i paid about that much for my last one but uh yeah i don't know there we go that's the price of mechanical keyboards in today's market. No. <laughs> all right. So I think, I think we're all set up. The only thing left to do would be to make an escape hatch, which I'll do right now. I just want to finish cleaning this up. There we go. Fix this over here. All right. So we'll, um, we'll make some ladders. Get those all set up there we go so we now have a nice little collection area all right guys so we have a problem our golem spawner is actually too good we are having golems spawn really really fast and they're building up and it's making it like impossible to get the golems to fall down so we gotta fix this what we're gonna do is is we're gonna make the drop uh instead of two by two we're gonna make it four by four so let's remove all these blocks out of here. Hopefully we can get this done before more golems fall down. Uh, I haven't checked it yet, but I'm assuming that we have quite a bit of uh, drops already too. So it'll be cool to check it. Get rid of all this. This shouldn't be too much of a fix or too hard of a fix, I don't think. So I've already got the uh, gates underneath of me there. There we go. So that one bucket of lava should take care of all of that there we go now it won't be the prettiest thing in the world for the start of this but it'll work for now okay so now we just need to finish the walls if this works i'll clean it up and uh next time we come back you'll see all the fanciness there we go fill all that in then we just need to fix the water up top which i just got a very simple fix go up there we go all right so let's get rid of all this and hopefully these chunky boys will be good to go. There all that. Now, I don't know. Remember the last time they fell down? That's going to bug me so much. But uh, there's a golem standing right there. Yeah, he's right there. Look at him. He's walking. He must be in the actual platform. That's crazy. Okay. Well, while we wait, let's go downstairs and see how much actual iron we've got. I've got 32 on me pick all this up oh, i need to fix the hoppers too okay let's do that really fast while we have a second shouldn't be too hard of a fix uh, so well, as soon as we get these placed in there we'll check that but i think this is pretty much good to go now set myself on fire go upstairs or eh, let's just i'll i'll be fine uh wow a stack in 20 already that is really fast iron I've only been here for like five or six minutes. So that's really, really quick. I would love to see another golem fall down row. Oh, two more just fell down. That three more. <laughs> Do 
<laughs> oh my god they're fall there's so many falling down right now how many is down there i don't know if we'll be able to catch it or not there's like at least there was at least four in there i mean this thing is amazing dude this thing works so good we had a stack in 20 so so we just got like 20 more iron pretty much 15 16 more iron that's crazy this thing is gonna produce man awesome this is exciting all right guys we find ourselves in the nether now i want to try and find a blaze spawner because i want to convert it into sort of a makeshift sort of uh sort of spawner that way i can get some blaze drops because blaze drops are important and we also need them so that we can go to the end now i swear to god on everything there was a blaze spawner down here somewhere i can't remember where i found it last time i actually remember seeing like three of them let's go this way so oh we got some mobs out here i don't really care about them i'll just run past them it's whatever oh there it is i knew i saw it i'm like i know for 1000 percent positive that it's here all right so here's what we're gonna do i'm actually gonna make this really really simple first and foremost i'm just gonna block this off and uh probably this too all we really gotta do is break through here so we're gonna get rid of all this and we gotta be careful we want to make sure that we don't uh get them down here just yet so we're gonna go to the side and uh probably block that off too all right so the game plan is to just make it to where they fall down uh hit a half slab and we are able to walk around so there we go although i i didn't bring a crafting table so that might be a problem okay so we'll get rid of this final wall here but uh because i want to fight the dragon soon and to be able to fight the dragon we got to be able to make blaze or ender eyes um trying to think about the best way to probably get ender eyes i know that trying to get uh ender pearls is not that easy our sword does have looting though so we have an advantage okay so when the mobs fall down i only want them to fall down like probably right there maybe let's block this off too i think so let's give this a shot and see how this is going to work we're going to have to get rid of pretty much all of this fill that all in and then okay so we'll go from here so there's the spawner fill that all back in then i can peek move out of the way and they should start coming down maybe instead of doing it like in a circle we do it like this instead oh they can't they can still shoot me okay so let's that's what i didn't want to happen okay so fill that in and then just uh do this and then the back wall needs to be filled in so that way the drops don't fall down i need slabs but i don't have any wood there we go fantastic grab all that uh, i'm trying to think of uh if there's anywhere in the in this area that has slabs i don't think so though that was a big fail on my part, by the way. Um, check right here. I thought that maybe they would have slabs here. No. All right. So yeah, we won't be able to make slabs then because I don't have a crafting table. Uh, let me up. There we go. Okay. So now I'm trying to think. I should just be able to kill them. The only problem is, is I can't really pick this stuff up, but since I have looting, I don't think it's going to matter. So this is a pretty easy impromptu uh, spawner for people to be able to make. You can easily walk up and forward. They will notice you. Let them come forward a little bit more every time you shoot at them. There we go. Pick those 
Awesome. So we should be able to make plenty of eyes of Ender now. That shouldn't be an issue. Uh, I would like to tweak this a little bit more once we have slabs. Once we are, once we have those, we should be good to go. We could even go as far as putting hoppers down here, I think. Um, so next episode, we may actually start prepping for the end, I think. Really want to get an elytra soon. We also need to make a creeper farm. So we got a lot to do still. I mean, like, obviously. <laughs> but guys, I think that's probably going to take care of today's episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. This is Hi Jevin. Peace out, everybody.